Okay, this is going to be a bit of fun with solar power. Uh, what I need, hot glue gun, always have a hot glue gun. Uh, a vibrating toothbrush, this is an Oral-B Pulsar, as it's called. Come to that in a minute. Need the solder and iron in a while. Stick out the way somewhere. Uh, tin snips, I should think you could call these. And this is a solar light, one of those ones that sits in the garden, charges up during the day and lights up at night. So, which should we start with? Start with this. Take it apart. Need to get the motor out. Probably the easiest way is just pull it out like that. And there's our little vibrating electric motor with a few bits and pieces that we won't need. So I have to turn the soldering on on now just to clean that up. Okay, soldering iron's heated up. Got my little fan to blow away the fumes. Uh, take that bit off there. Get it off. Okay, wire there, wire there. Soldering iron. That side's loose. loose and that just slides out nicely and there we are vibrating motor just uh, tidy up the solder on the ends a bit okay that's that bit done Okay, next we're going to take this fella apart. There we are, little solar panel on the front. circuit board in there on off switch which is handy little battery there the way it works when the lights on it on there it charges up that battery when the lights off the light comes on so if I just yeah you see there's a bit of light on the panel now and the lights gone out cover it up light comes on and I'm going to use that effect to make a little um, toy. So, what do we want? Turn that off for now. Let's just hack it apart, I think is the easiest way to put it. Okay, so we're down to solar panel, electric circuit, battery, and we're going to modify that. 
don't know if we can see this well enough on this camera but the circuit there's a little black bubble there that's got the transistors or whatever you want to call them in there the circuitry LED and there's a resistor in there don't know if you can see it at all what I'm going to do is take that resistor out connect the vibrating motor into exactly the same place and when the LED comes on the motor vibrates which will make a little um, one of those little vibrating bugs right I'll just turn the soldering iron back on right these um, mounting pegs I'm going to leave because they'll make the feet for the vibrating bug in a minute so what we want to do is try and pop the circuitry off, circuit board off, there we are. And we want to get in with the soldering iron and pull that resistor out. What I'm going to try and do is loop a bit of wire around it to get some tension on it. soldering iron on it and there we go resistors coming loose find where the other leg is Just about there and there we are I got the resistor hanging there don't know if you can see that there's a couple of spaces now on here I can attach my motor it might be better if I mount it on something to hold it still there you go, I've got it mounted now so I can use both hands. Very simple. Touch that on there. Done. Touch that one on there. Done. Hopefully, if we switch it back on, we should get enough power. That's handy, I can feel the motor vibrating, but it's not actually spinning. We need a bit more power in the battery because it hasn't had time to charge up yet. So, you can't see this, but I'm holding it in front of a light to charge it up. Okay, held it in front of the light for a few seconds, so hopefully it's charged the battery a bit. If I cover the solar panel, light comes on motor vibrates. Just do that again. Cover the panel, light comes on, motor vibrates. Now we've got to stick it together. Right, soldering iron switched off. My favourite tool, hot glue gun, switched on. What we're going to do is just simply stick that there and have the vibrating motor, well probably better if I stick it the other way up and stick the vibrating motor about there somewhere so a bit of hot glue somewhere. So another bit of hot glue. Nice big dollop of it. So 
There you go. Seven nights in the 